right here. Take a breath, kid. What's the problem? I can't see. I'm so scared. Will you pray for me? I don't want to be blind. Uh, Larry. But Herb. I'm not sure you need me to pray for you. At least not about you going blind. Do you, Herb? I can't see. Well, Larry, have you tried taking off that hat? Oh. You know, Larry, you just reminded me of a story. Goody, I love your story, but how am I fine as reminded of a story? Well, listen, and you'll see. That's one. I'll see. Okay, I'm ready. One day, there was a man walking up the mountain. I didn't know what he was doing, but I heard him yelling a name. Over and over he yelled. I'll never forget that name. What was the name, Herb? It was Sheila. That's a very great name. Who is he? Keep listening. Okay, go on. After listening to him yell, Sheila, Sheila, where are you? I figured out that someone was lost. I walked very close to the man and saw him. He was crying. So I prayed for this man and for Sheila. I asked God to send some help, and I volunteered to help if I could. If you don't mind my asking, what in the world could a beaver do for a missing Sheila? Not just a Sheila, but a girl named Sheila. Oh, I get it, Al, but what could a beaver do? Well... I didn't know, but I wanted to offer. You never know what God has planned for you to do. And he did have a plan. Something came over me, and I knew I needed to look toward the north. When I did, I saw a beautiful ray of light. Was it the sun? No, Larry. It was nighttime and very dark outside. There wasn't even any sh stars shining that night. This light was special. I knew it was an angel sent to light the way. I ran toward the ray of light. When I got where the light was pointing toward, I saw a beautiful little girl sitting under a tree and crying. I knew it had to be Sheila. Wow, what you do next? I walked over to Sheila and put my head down so she wouldn't be frightened. Somehow she knew I was trying to help her. I believe the angel had let her know it was okay to go with me. But as I started to lead her away from the tree, I realized I couldn't see the man. I couldn't see anything. Where had the light gone? It was so dark, I stopped and asked God to light the way. You should always carry a flashlight, Herb. Thanks for the advice, Larry. I'll stick one on my tail as soon as possible. Anyway, after I prayed, a light appeared in front of me and I let it led me straight to the man who was the child's father. So you were blind and got to go off your head? Something like that, Larry. I'm glad you were able to help Sheila. Good story, Herb. Thanks, Larry. I'm glad, too. And I thank God for using me to help. Now let's go get some lunch. Okay, they're fine, right? Yes, Larry. Good.